welcome Michael Thorson. Hi, how's everyone doing tonight? Awesome. Awesome. Any of you guys on used to be kids? <laughs> like, I mean, I am um, used to um, use humor to um, get out of stuff when I was younger. Like, um, in fourth grade, they um, had our pair. We had to show our parents our report cards, and they could leave comments. And so, anyway, then um, when I and then you had to give them back to the teacher. And so, anyway, then um, when I gave it back to the teacher, my dad wrote that I should have more homework, and so I was just like, he was drunk when I he wrote that. <laughs> so then, like, a week later, I'm in speech therapy, and one of my classmates comes and gets me to go back to the classroom. They're watching a video called Living with an Alcoholic Parent. <laughs> and, um, gosh, yeah, fourth grade was awesome, like, Sometimes we got to play the role of the teacher, like after a quiz we got to grade them. Like anyway, so one day I was to teach the teacher and I um called on this girl, Yukari, and she was a Japanese girl and I was just like, Yeah, because she she always has all the right answers and as I got older I learned that was a stereotype and that was like wrong and you shouldn't do that, but so I'm like, I can't really like blame myself because I was just a kid. I didn't know what a stereotype was. I mean, well, I did, but it was a Panasonic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, gosh, anyway, um, then um, one time, like, um, when I was in the, um, became a sergeant in the National Guard, and, I'm assuming there's a lot of shocked faces in the audience right now. <laughs> Trust me, there, there were quite a few, but anyway, so I reached the rank of sergeant, and so um, then um, I had to retake my PT test, and we had this Sergeant McCarter there, and it was just like, NCOs don't fail their PT test, and so I take one, and um, I get mug about it, and I'm just like, through on. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, um, anyway, it sucks, like, um, so if you're having conversations with your friends and, like, they start another one, but you didn't know that the topic changed, like, um, one day I was talking about how I did this open mic, and there was this dude with one leg who lost it in an accident, and, so anyway, um, then the other conversation started about fishing, and so then I hear um, my friends say, um, so did she take it home and eat it? And then I'm just like, God damn it, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, gosh, um, um, shoot, so, um, like, um, oh, oh yeah, that's right, I remember this, um, one thing, like, I, I used to, um, be a really, like, problem child to middle-aged man, <laughs> so, anyway, then, like, it, um, really sucked, like, one time, like, in the hospital, um, they had um, the doctor like did a, a conference thing through the television and stuff, and so then I was, I needed a prescription, and then I was just like, oh, what do you need? And I, like, and I was told him like cheerfully, but then afterwards I was just like, shit, I could have had some more drugs. <laughs> and, uh, gosh, and um. But anyway, then um, before um, moving to Rochester, I um, worked for Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey Circus, or as I later came to know it, starring in Netflix's new hit t TV show, One Reason Why. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sad joke. <laughs> but, um, 
Thank you, Justin Alston. He was going for a sergeant, Michael Thornton. 